Good day, good people. It's a Game Boy Advance time. It's a Nick here for Nick's News and Reviews. And we're looking at GT Advance on the Game Boy Advance. GT Advance Championship Racing, give it its full title. Published by THQ in 2001. Now, when I review these games, I have to take into account the year they come out and other games that are available that were similar. And this is a very polished, very good game. A nice presentation intro screen there. Um, if I had to compare it against any other game of the time on the Game Boy Advance, you're looking at Need for Speed Underground, which were great games, and it compares quite favourably uh, with them. Now, in this one, there's quite a lot of variety, so you get a lot for your money. There's 48 uh, vehicles to um, uh, earn, uh, ranging from uh, makers such as Daihatsu, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki and Toyota. Uh, we start at the beginner's class, as you can obviously see. And also as well, which is quite impressive, there's 32 on and off-road tracks to master. Now you start off with a pretty um, straightforward um, crappy car, but as you can see my handling speed and acceleration isn't too far up the uh, grades there. But by winning each race, you can, um, well, improve your car and earn extra supercars. So once you're handling the top speeds near the top, the game um, changes into something absolutely fantastic. But we'll start at the start, which is always a good place to start. If that makes sense? Maybe not. There's an option for two player on this via link cable via two Game Boy Advance machines, which is a nice touch. Um, it's nice when they do that. They do that on the majority of them. I can't understand it when they don't. So the first track is the Hornet, quite a straightforward track. So let's see how we get on, how the game plays. Now this is what you would call an early game racing game for the Game Boy Advance in terms of the years, 2001. So although most tracks are okay, occasionally it makes my eyes go a bit funny. But you have to get used to the handling because all racing games tend to be slightly different how they treat the cars. There we go. So a bit of um, side turning and spinning there. Whoops. The graphics are well, quite low rest for a 32-bit uh, system, but it plays quite well. Uh, the learning curve is great. Um, you know, it moves at quite a, a nice speed. Uh, the graphics are good, and they see your time quite well, position, and how many laps you do. You've got to do three of each um, round. Uh, the map's good. That's on a lot of games as well, but that does it in uh, good, in a good way, good clear way. So nice presentation on this. This is quite a straightforward track. On some of the uh, trickier ones, as I say, my eyes take a bit of a testing, as they did on Simpsons Road Rage, where I can't quite see where the corner is or where to go. Perspective does suffer. But nice ambient music in the background. Take it or leave it, really. But a good challenge. You can get really involved uh, in this one. Many, many hours of gameplay to unlock all 48 of the vehicles. And um, although it starts at quite a sedate pace uh, later on if you persevere with it, which I recommend doing, um, it does move at a hell of a lick. So first place, so that was quite easy, so we should unlock another track now. I'm not sure we get any engine part upgrades, but you never know. We do! We got that spinning top thing. Good performance, you've earned special parts. What part's that? And I've got a new car, it's an Acura Atigra Type R. That means nothing to me. I'm not really an expert on cars to be honest with you. When friends go into details about engine parts and different cars, I'm a bit lost. Um, but if you want to send me a, a Lamborghini Sesta Elemento, I'll take that off your hands to see how uh, I'll get on. I'll review that as I wrap it round a lamppost probably. Now this new car doesn't seem too different from the car I got at the moment. There's an option to change your colour of the car which is a, a nice touch. I like it when they do free things like that. This game also had a, a couple of um, sequels, I think, so we may very well come to those. But we seem to review quite a lot of racing games in the Game Boy Advance. I try and keep it varied, but that's just the way it goes. I need to review Toka Touring Cars on this as well, see how it compares to the good old uh, PlayStation version. Right. Well, that's fitted, so we'll, and now our car's yellow, you might have noticed, which I changed. Um, it's sort of like a Yaks Urine yellow, so maybe that's not the best. A figure of eight! Right, so this is a cross-country circuit, it says, but it looks more like the road to me. Now, this, this turns into our first eye test. Because the road is a little bit narrow when it comes to the, uh, the figure of eight bit, the middle bit. We've got to get used to the controlling, but our car's much quicker at this point. Right, here we go. That's good. So I've got the turning... There we go. So this is when it's narrow in the crossover bit, the bridge bit. 
But I have to say, I like this game, I'm quite impressed. Looking forward to seeing what GT Advance 2 looks like. Whoops. It's quite, um, it's quite easy going on the newcomer as well. If you crash into the side, you don't lose too much speed. It gets a hell of a lot trickier later on. But yeah, I'd say this was a classic. I'd, um, to be honest with you, out of the two now I've played this one and familiarised myself a bit more, I think I prefer this than Need for Speed Underground. Wherever I played Need for Speed Underground again, I prefer that, who knows. But uh, it's a very similar era, very similar technology. Yeah, I do want to persevere on this and unlock everything. Maybe there's a cheat mode. That arrow that turns up is a, is a nice touch, letting you know in advance where the, uh, the bend's going to go. All the trees look the same, but... Um, you know, that's expected in a game like this, and we've won again! Position 1. Now I certainly need to change this car's colour from Yak urine, that's not good. Track cleared! Quite easily. As you see, I got gradually quicker. Oh no, lap 3 was slower. Useless. Right, I've got a new car, it's the Cube! And it doesn't look very sleek, does it, folks? It does look like a Cube. Right, you see, beginner... Those yellow dots represent the tracks I've completed. As soon as I've done all those, you go to the next class up. Hmm, the top speed on this car isn't brilliant. There's the AZ-10. Yeah, that car's useless. Let's stick to my car I've got here. What else is about? Yeah, we weren't impressed with that. Maybe change the colour a little bit. Blue, that's safer. Automatic gears, I don't want to do manual transmission, I'm no fool. Right, so we've unlocked 16 cars out of 48. Now the good thing about this, if you do change cars, which I'm sure we will do at some point, you can take your upgrades with you, so you don't have to start from scratch like um, Gran Turismo is. Go to the race! So I'm going to have to be a bit careful here, because this is one of these games in review I could be playing it for half an hour without realising. I don't, I don't really want this review to go that long. But it's night time! Off we go. Hmm, all the cars seem to be blue here, that's going to make things tricky. But I take the inside line, that beats them. The AI does seem to be a bit dopey here. Yeah, and we're a lot quicker than these fellas. Actually, this just looks like one of the stages on um, Mario Super Circuit, doesn't it? I think I'd prefer this if I was in a Mario Kart. That'd be a hell of a cheat. Yeah. Well, anyway, Mario Kart beats this game hands down. But this is more trying to be a simulation. So here we go. This is the only drifty bit, I think. That, like, bend there. The track's quite wide, so it's quite kind on the eyes. Yeah, this, this little... Yeah, I say that, and that bit's awkward. Scrap what I just said. This is the first track that's a bit awkward on the eyes. Where are we? In position three... That three of three, this doesn't look brilliant. Right, second. See if we can win here. Get out of the way. Right, first. Now stay there, you nincompoop. That's that's the extent of where my swearing goes, nincompoop and blast and drat. I know, I should clean my mouth out with soap. Oh, we got overtaken on the line there. That wasn't fair. Well, is that good enough to unlock the next track? Yeah, track clear, ranking second. That'll do us. Dee -dee -dee -dee. So I think we'll do another two or three tracks here, then call it a day. Good little system, the Game Boy Advance. What's that? You've earned a pizza? We've earned a pizza. I think that might be a computer chip that controls the car. At least that's what it was on... Yeah, CPU, there we go. At least it was that on, gate on the Gran Turismo. Right. What does that do? Gives a slightly better acceleration and top speed, but not a great deal. So we've got a filter and we've got a CPU. Yeah, it's a gold, gold, silver, the beginner's uh, balls say there. Let's go to track four. Let's waste no time, let's keep this car the same. Oh, that's a bit square. Hmm. We've got a few tracks here. Main Street. Now, this, this could be tricky corner in here. Yeah, this is going to do my eyes up, I can tell immediately. So you have to really concentrate on this one. Yeah. Now this is a nightmare for the eyes. We really need to learn the track. Here we go. Yep, that's the wrong way. Oh, that would have been better if that was a building to guide me. So already I'm at a loss. Position 8, that's good. 
Yeah, that's wrong. So I need to, I need to take um, notice of these yellow and black things. See which direction we have to go in now. Yeah, I need to keep an eye on the map here. It's very tricky to do at the same time. Maybe take a, a look at the arrows as well. Where are we going? Right, tight bend here. Yeah, this is hopeless. You need to learn the layout of this this road because, as I say, first comer to this as I am here, then you've got no chance. Unless you're Lewis Hamilton or someone, then maybe you might be okay at it. Not past the Maldonado though. Okay. This car looks a bit boxy. Some of the um, cars further down the line are a bit more sleek and stylish and sexy. A bit like myself. Yes, don't, don't, uh, yeah, that's true. Yes, let's keep it like that. Oh, what am I doing? If this is my driving test, I would have failed and the driving instructor would open the door and leapt out while the car's still moving and reported me to the police and I'd now be chased by lots of cop cars with, with rifles and stuff or am I getting that mixed up with GTA 5? I don't think there's a round in GTA 5 where you can do your driving test. I might be wrong, but that'll be a hella funny. Eighth. Well, that isn't going to butter any parsnips, is it? Oh, dear. Do we get another go? I'm sure we do. This is like a grinding game. Retry. Okay. I'm in no mood to start again. Right, here we go. Would it be nice for an option to change the car here? Right, keep your eyes out. Well, not, not out your face, that would be silly tactics. Right, not falling for that again, but I did a little bit. Seventh. Be good to have a better turn in circle. Right, let's pass him on the inside. Get out of the way. Now this car's ahead of me, that sort of like gives you a bit of a guide where the track's going to go. So there's a car there, what direction? Right, here we go. He's in Yak Urine, which was the car we drove before. Fifth. This isn't going particularly brilliant again. Hmm. Yes, overall, I, I give this game an 8 out of 10. 2001, a pretty good example. You wouldn't have been uh, displeased if you bought this at the time. It's a good one. Oops, I've done it again. I've got lost with my rambling. Fourth place, well that's better than last time. Maybe if we do it again we might even win. Practice makes perfect, usually. Could get third. I don't know what position you have to come in to qualify for the next race. Maybe the top three. Third, is that good enough? Don't know what happens to that green car. Yeah, track clear third. So yeah, nice and easy this track. I think it gradually better, look. 24.35 the last lap. Right, so gold, gold, silver, bronze. See, my talent seems to be gradually running out here. Track five. Um, zero. Oh, that's an oval. That should be quite easy. Oh, this should be really easy, this. Oh, we're on some sort of dirt track. This should be interesting. Oh, I like the graphics on this. This is my favourite track so far. It's nice and wide. The handling seems the same, despite it's not in the city. Oh yeah, that's, that's a very nice feeling if you get that ride, which I didn't. Sixth place, right, we've got three laps of this. It's like the Indy 500, but flat and not like it. Oh dear, I need to ease off the accelerator there. Right, position five. I think we've got this. Let's take a nice wide um, entry. Good, don't really need to decelerate once you get the line right. Get round Yak Urine Man. And him. Right, last lap. Surely we can get these other two. That was lucky. Good. This is the easiest track so far. This isn't going to cause any problems. Hopefully this track repeats on the professional uh, mode. Nice. Nice oval. We're in the forest, it looks. Well, it's a pretty uh, blocky forest. Hooray, that was the quickest track so far. Well, that I was intending that to be the last track of the review, but um, what are we coming up to? Quarter of an hour-ish. And we've got this this thing. Was it an exhaust pipe? I've got a new car, the MRS. Well, we'll do one more track. Should we take this MRS out, maybe? Make it a bit different. 
let's take the MRS out because as I, as I say you're allowed to um, move all your upgrades across let's see how good it is yeah that's a bit better isn't it I think just let's take out the MRS Toyota is it S or 5 don't know right so those black stars rec um, represent the um, upgrades we can transfer across Right, so we've got our exhaust pipe, where well, it's called a muffler. I do not know what a muffler does. Is that an exhaust pipe with a different name? Right, that gets a bit more acceleration. What's the other thing? Oh, the CPU, yes, you need a CPU. What did cars do without before a CPU? Right, so this should be our best car so far. And it, it's starting to make the game look a bit like a sports racing game. So one track. Okay, THQ, let's see what your last track is for me. It's Bayside. Looks like we're back in the city. Oh, in the mountains. Oh, looks a bit like Canada. The Montreal Grand Prix. There's water both sides. Oops, car handles ever so slightly different. Good, I like that. It might be me just struggling with the new speed. Need to ease off a bit now. Oops, see that done my eyes in. That's a middle pedestrian crossing thing, because you can't cross, but it looks pretty much like the rest of the road. So it's another eye tester. Right, we're in sixth place here. Let's get this right. Oh my god, I'm all over the shop. You can't fall into the lake though, it doesn't seem. Which is just as well. Yep, that that's middle crossing again I've bumped into and lost all speed oh no I should have kept my uh, my square boxy car get out of the way oh that that, that, that computer probably just drove through the other one I didn't notice that beforehand and have a playing with the game so that's crappy uh, you let yourself down now on the last lap let's just say that's the reason it's put me off that's why I'm in eighth place so Computer can drive for other computer control players, but I can't. Oh, that map don't look very good. I'm miles behind. I'm driving around like a wally again. Go! Sick place. Ooh. Ooh. So there we go. I hope you liked having a look at that game. It's, it's, it's a good one. I'll give that a big thumbs up. That was GT Advance Championship Racing on the Game Boy Advance, published by THQ in 2001. Thanks for watching as always. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe. That's always helpful. Generates a bit of activity. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.